I got an ambassador. And let the sword and shield of them serve as my quill. That's my age! <laughs> you dare speak in that manner to the king. To your king? <laughs> I will speak as I see fit. They own the ways word of a treaty. Yet neither strong nor bear arrived. Not arrived? But I found the prince was dispatched nearly a fortnight ago to secure the peace and to escort you in honor and safety to the tournament. As you can see, I require no escort, nor do any of the warriors of Leo need to leave of uh, little kings to go where they would. Get up, my lords. Three night. I see that you deem yourself and your king wrong. As well you might, yet, in good faith and honest desire for peace was a necessary sent. And our desire for peace has not waned. I pray you tell us, what news have you of my son and his errand? None. And none! Yet my king has no need to repay insult with this courtesy. And so I, the champion of my own, appear at your tournament. The honor and skill of my own have been called to the test. And to give answer to that question only, I cast this reply to your brave company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are valiant, my lord. <laughs> As are all the sons of your king down here. But you, my lord, you are rash and foolhardy as well. You wish to repeat? Test your skill and courage? Very well. Curb, but for a moment, your insolence, and I shall grant your wish. Perhaps you shall meet my finest warrior. For now, my lords, I pray you retire. Prepare for the tournament. My lords, my ladies, raise a cheer for the night.